Well, welcome back. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here. We uh, have had a little controversy on the server the last couple of days. Uh, yesterday and, well, it's 12.44 a.m., so technically yesterday and today. However, um, I think I've come to the conclusion that it's not as bad as everybody thinks. We are soon going to be getting a new map for 1.3, and there have been a couple of proposals put forward that we're voting on the forums, and I think they're both pretty good. Uh, the whole object of this exercise is to limit the amount mainly of diamonds that people have hoarded over the years. As you can see here, I've got 43 diamond blocks there, 31 diamonds themselves. I don't see diamonds being used a heck of a lot anymore on the server as currency, but, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the management here has the perception, and it may be, as far as I know, it's uh, dead on, but that our economy is just screwed up because people have too many diamonds and valuable materials and stuff that they've hoarded and collected like those diamonds and a lot of the stuff I have here I've been collecting those since Exodus 3 I think it's been some time ago and you know there's this is over a year's worth of collecting here anyway there's an, been an idea put forth uh, there was two actually, but the first one and the one that's causing the most controversy between players and the admins, and it's getting out of hand. I've seen some pretty nasty comments, but the the first idea is that they build an ark, and everybody gets one chest on the ark to move over all of your most valuable items. You get one double chest. I think. Maybe a single chest, but I think it's a double chest. And after that, you can buy more chests with uh, diamond blocks. So, um, I think someone said, I think it was Citizen, said that um, it would take 20 diamond blocks to buy 30 chests. And that is... Uh, to move more stuff over to the new server, new map, when we get it. And uh, there are a lot of people upset about that. And I can understand if you just started playing or something and you really don't have a lot of valuables to move over. But in my case, as you can see, that would take less than half the diamond I have on hand to buy 30 chests. You know, so that's... To me, that's not such a big deal. And with diamonds being as easy to get as they are, and with uh, fortune picks and everything, I can see myself replacing that pretty quickly, and I really don't think that it's going to be a big deal. Uh, I would rather, obviously, just be able to take all of my stuff over to the new maps, but uh, TJ pointed out that Back when we were Exodus, we weren't allowed to do that. We did not transfer items between maps. When you started a new map, you started a new map. You started over from scratch. And uh, I, I went through that once. I did do that once. And uh, actually, come to think of it, I started on Exodus 2. Uh, anyway, yeah, we didn't get to do that. So... You, you get one chest to transfer your objects over, uh, your obviously your most valuable items. And then after that, if you need more, you can buy them. And uh, like I said, for me and a lot of people who have been here a long time, that's not going to be a big problem. I mean, I can afford it. Uh, the other idea, or the other thing put forward, is that we be allowed, or we have perks, 
I'm going to go AFK here for a minute, and I'm going to kind of show off the perks a little bit. I have to, there we go, let's go AFK. I'm going to go over here, oh, let me minimize these, because I don't, so I don't get, there we go, now then. <clears throat> Start up fire uh, Chrome here, and we'll go to the forums, and we'll talk about what the perks are. Uh, basically, you're going to get things that you n normally would have to pay for as a sponsor or get as a perk because you are a higher rank. I mean, so that's the arc transfer, and that's it. You know, it's pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, now the perk system here, you by charging diamond blocks, you can get these perks, and some of them, as you can see, are from MCMMO. Uh, you get LWC, and I would most definitely buy this one, LWC C Magnet. I love that. I have that in my single player world, and I don't know how I'd do without it in my. Uh, Mob traps. Now stack. I wouldn't mind having stack. And uh, but let's see, fly. That's f now this one. I don't know. I wouldn't pay this. Five blocks, five diamond blocks per day. Of uh, that's RL days. I don't think that's uh, Minecraft days. Uh, some people were talking about this. WE that's world edit and that's let you count the bl uh, blocks of a certain ID or name in uh, current selection and if anybody know you know how to use world edit you'll know that you use a, like a wooden axe to select a cuboid and it'll you type slash count and it'll give you the number there so this one I don't know how this would work uh gives you access to p-time and that just lets you change the time day night dawn whatever but only for you and not for everybody else on the server so I, I don't understand how that works or how that will work when you're playing with other players <clears throat> this one lets you use locate and just uh, you hold the compass and type locate the player name and it'll point toward that player uh, here we have block pusher. This might be interesting if it would work on mob spawners, but I seriously doubt that it does. Uh, anyway, it lets you, you hold a brick in your hand and you left or right click and it'll move the block forward or back, uh, just whatever you want. Uh, this block pickup, this is an area effect and it basically increases the distance from you that dropped blocks like say you you mine cobblestone and it'll come it will come to you like you know when you walk up and it goes pops into your inventory it lets you do that from further away so it, it might be f maybe four blocks away from you and it'll still pop into your inventory and let's see here World Edit Move. 12 diamond blocks and they will let you move a 50 by 50 by 50 cube section from the old world. Uh, oh, wait a minute. No, not from the old world. Let's see here. Okay. Yeah, you can uh, to somewhere else on the map. Also, the, you're, you can do that from uh, map, map transfer builds. Okay, you cannot move containers. Uh, and it can the, any admin can deny your request. So no moving chests full of stuff. Possibility things could be duplicated there. So those those are your the perks that you can buy with diamond blocks. And uh, let's see here. Oh, I'm getting glitches in my, uh, video glitches. Anyway, th this is the arc transfer idea, and it's basically what I said earlier. You, you'll you be able to buy more chests on the arc. 
Now, I voted that I dislike this idea, but I'm not a paying member here. I mean, I will go with whatever is finally decided. Uh, as you can see, there's 35% of the people who have voted actually like the idea. Some of the two people don't care. That's my guinea pig over there. If you can hear him squeaking away, he hears me talking. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I think I could work with it any way it goes. I would prefer to be able to keep my stuff just because I worked so hard and so long to get it. But, I mean, if they decide to go with the ARC idea, so be it. I'll pay my dues and go on to the next map. I'm not going to throw a fit over it. I'm not going to get all mad and make other people angry. I'm just going to play the game. And if that means I have to start over from scratch, then I'll start over from scratch. Um, the only thing I really, really would want to take is the stuff in this chest. And I could probably do without some of these ender pearls, but... I don't think so. I really want to keep those. And as you can see, I've already made like 128 ender eyes over here just so that I can make ender chests. Um, but let's see. Tools and weapons. There's some stuff out of here I would like to take. At least one stack of my mycelium to take with me. And I've got some some fair tools here that I would want to take. And I would make sure and make room for them too. I don't want to don't want to lose those things but I really don't see anything in here that's vital for me to have I mean nothing that I can't get in the new world uh, these bones I would definitely want to take some of those and the arrows as many of them as I can carry because arrows are for me they're difficult to get because I'm too lazy to make them <laughs> but glass sugar cane wood uh, I'd obviously want to take some of my food with me, you know, but I've got plenty of food that I can decide to take. Um, anything in plants here? Uh, oh, yes. These saplings, and I believe they're over here. These would definitely have to go with me. Right there, my 64 jungle saplings. I worked my rear end off to get those. I spent literally all day one Saturday, Saturday trying to re regenerate the jungle before they reset it. And I got a good long ways into it. They reset the jungle, and I still had all these saplings. So I figured, what the heck? They regened it. I'm going to take them home with me. And that's what I did. So... I'll be able to have my own jungle trees. Uh, the circle stone here, uh, I understand you'll be able to get that legitimately. I'm not sure how, if you'll find it in the world or what, but I do have, let's see here. See, this is all circle stone right here. And I got this back when, for a short time, we were still allowed to use, um, uh, a block transmuter to make this stuff. That doesn't go there. So, you can go back and see the video where I destroyed it. And uh, that was when they decided that it was not something they wanted done because I, I think there was a way to exploit that and get stuff you weren't supposed to have beyond stone. I think you could get, there was a way to duplicate items. But yeah, uh, that's my two cents. I um, would prefer things to work like it did with the last map. Just let us move everything over. But, I mean, it's no huge loss to me if I have to buy my way over with new, more chests and stuff. We'll see what happens, though. And I guess that's all I have to say. Um, you can see I've done a little... A little remodeling in here, nothing major. Just added, redid my walls, and I haven't really been doing a whole lot lately because of the new map coming. I've just been sort of stockpiling 
stuff that I, that'll help me get started in the next map, which turns out that may have all been a moot point anyway because we may not be able to bring it over. So that's really all I have to say. Um, we'll see what happens, and one way or another, we're going to get a new map, and I'm going to continue playing on Serenity. So that's just the way it is. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day, night, evening, morning, whatever it is where you're watching this. And, oh, come on, stop it with the glitches. Much better. Is it something to do with how close I am? No clue. Anyway, uh, have a, a great day, and we will see you next time.